Hey everybody, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train, and I know that eating on a budget can be really hard. So here are six meal ideas that you can try when your budget is low. In the 12 years that John and I have been married, we have gone through a few job losses. And in that time, we learned how to eat on a really small budget. We've gone down to as low as $30 a week for our family of three. So I had to learn to get creative with the money I had and try to make as many cheap meals as possible. And you might be in that situation too, where it's either a job loss or maybe just very low income for the moment, and you need just some meal ideas to get you through. Well, I went and collected six meal ideas, and I've got more in the link in the description, so check that out later. But I'm going to go through each one, show you how they're made. I don't have a cost breakdown of all of them because it all depends on what's in your area and the cost of living and things. But hopefully a lot of these you have already in your pantry and you can come up with a couple ideas. So let's get into it. The first meal idea is baked potatoes. This is a simple meal where you can get really creative with the toppings. Now for this, I bought a bag of the large baking russet potatoes. The first step is to wash and scrub your potatoes and preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Now I'm non-traditional. I like to slice my potatoes in half because they bake more quickly. If you keep yours whole, just make sure to poke holes in them with a fork. Place the potatoes on a baking sheet and then use your hands to cover the potatoes in olive oil. This helps to crisp up the skin a little bit and then sprinkle it with salt and pepper. Now sliced potatoes will bake for 35 to 40 minutes and whole potatoes can take 40 to 60 minutes depending on the size. Once they're done, you should be able to stick a fork in it pretty easily. And now come the toppings. Some of my favorites are sour cream, shredded cheddar, and bacon bits, and of course, some hot sauce. You can also top it with chili for an extra protein boost. Now, this can be a full meal on its own, but I bought a salad kit as a side just to get in some extra veggies. Potatoes are super filling and full of nutrients, so this makes an amazing frugal dinner. The next meal idea is bean and cheese burritos. Now I used canned refried beans because it was easier, but you can save a little money by cooking your own dried beans instead. I heated the beans in a small pot and added some taco seasoning, and that took maybe 10 or 15 minutes. Once those were heated, I added a spoonful of beans onto two tortillas and then a sprinkle of cheese. One can of beans makes about four servings, and each serving is about two burritos. I cook some instant rice as a side item, but other ideas include a side salad or roasted vegetables. Altogether, this meal takes about 15 minutes to put together, and you may have some of the ingredients already in your house. The next meal is goulash. This is not a traditional goulash, but it's similar to the American style that we're familiar with. The most expensive part was the ground turkey, but you can also try to find down marked meat to use instead. So start by cooking the ground turkey or beef in a large skillet along with some diced green peppers. I had some frozen peppers available, but fresh will work just as well. While that's cooking, boil a pot of water and add macaroni, letting that cook. Now once the meat is cooked, add a can of diced tomatoes, basil, oregano, salt, and pepper. Then add the cooked macaroni, and then mix everything together. The last step here is to melt some shredded cheddar cheese right on top. Now this cheap meal makes a ton of food, and it can just be eaten by itself, but you could also serve this alongside a side salad or even some bread. This is warm, hearty, and delicious. The next meal is a really easy pasta bake. You can definitely add more to it, like meat or other vegetables, but this is a pretty simple pantry meal. Start by adding pasta to a pot of boiling water and cooking it fully. Then add it to an 8x8 casserole dish, add a jar of spaghetti sauce, and mix all of that together. Lastly, add some shredded mozzarella cheese on top. Bake it at 350 degrees for about 25 minutes, just enough for the cheese to melt. Now I like to serve frozen vegetables alongside pasta dishes. Frozen is just as nutritious as fresh and can sometimes be cheaper. This is a good meal to make when you're low on ideas and need something easy. 
The next meal is red beans and rice. And again, this is not traditional in any way, but just a simple recipe. Start by adding two cans of kidney beans, two cans of tomato sauce, olive oil, and adobo seasoning in a large skillet and let that simmer for about 20 minutes. Meanwhile, cook your favorite kind of rice. I had some leftover instant rice that I needed to use up, but it is cheaper to buy a bag of dried rice instead. I seasoned my rice with some extra adobo seasoning, and after a few minutes, the bean mixture was ready. I divided the rice into four bowls and added the beans on top. It's a simple mixture, but you can top it with other things like sour cream, shredded cheese, or avocado. This makes for a really good vegetarian meal. And the last meal idea is tuna melts. Sandwiches are my go-to when I'm low on both energy and money because they're so easy. The tuna mixture is just two cans of tuna, three tablespoons of mayo, and some garlic powder and paprika. And I don't usually measure my spices. After that's mixed together, butter two slices of bread, and then lay a slice of cheese and some of the tuna mixture on top. Then you just grill it like a grilled cheese sandwich. Now you can add other things to your mixture like relish. I actually add sliced pickles in my sandwich before grilling because pickles make everything better. Some of my favorite sides include steamed or roasted vegetables and some fruit. All of that creates a well-balanced meal for pretty cheap. Leave me a comment and tell me, have you made any of these recently? If so, what do you like? Are you going to try something new this week? Let me know. As I said before, there's a blog post link in the description that is full of meal ideas when your budget is low. I've collected them over the years and hopefully you can find a few new ideas. And it is being updated regularly so that way you can find even more. If you like this video, please let me know and that way I can make more videos just like this, whether it's budget meals, healthier meal ideas, or even meals when you are overwhelmed. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you later. Did you know I offer one-on-one -on -one nutrition coaching? Whether your goal is to lose weight, eat healthier, or just want to know how to get started, I can help. You can schedule a free weight loss discovery call by using the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I can't wait to chat with you.